So for 2024, Norco has brought the high pivot suspension design to both their sight and optic. Now these bikes are their trail bike and all mountain bike respectively. And they've decided to move to this suspension design because it offers great tracking over rough terrain, but also provides a very stable pedaling platform. So looking into the design itself, the bike still uses a four bar suspension design. Norco has been using this for pretty much as long as I can remember. It has kind of the FSR style lower pivot on the chainstay of the bike, which provides great performance while braking. Um, you'll also notice that these bikes have a modular shock mount on the lower end of the shock. Um, what this allows for is that you can switch between wheel sizes on these bikes, um, which is a great feature to have. And it's one you don't often see on shorter travel bikes um, like the Optic. So really cool of them to bring that technology both into the longer travel bikes and the shorter travel bikes. Hey guys, this is Kevin from Genesis USA. Today we're going to take a look at two of the newest offerings from Norco Bikes. If you've been in the biking industry a long time, you've probably heard the phrase that Yeti bikes are for dentists because of their expensive price point. Well, maybe these bikes from Norco are for optometrists because today we're looking at the optic and the sight. So we're going to start by taking a look at the optic. For 2024, Norco went with the high pivot suspension design on this bike, which is rare in this travel category. So this is a trail bike is how they designate it on their website. It has 125 millimeters of rear travel, and it's very rare to see a high pivot suspension design in bikes of this travel category. It was kind of first brought to market years ago with Forbidden when they came out with the Druid, and that bike saw a lot of success. So now some other brands are starting to dive into that philosophy. Um, even though it is a high pivot bike, it's still a trail bike. They kept the head tube angle at a 65 degree head angle. They didn't want to make this thing a little mini enduro bike. It still pedals very efficiently. Um, one thing a lot of people don't realize is that even though high pivot works great while descending, it actually climbs really well as well because it tracks while you're climbing a lot better than a lower pivot bike. So it actually has a great pedaling platform. So even though it's a little more clunky looking than a streamlined bike without the high pivot, it handles all those epic rides, no problem. Cool, so now moving on to the Norco site. Um, compared to the Optic we just looked at, this Norco comes with a mullet setup, mixed wheels, 27.5 in the back, 29 in the front. Both bikes are actually compatible with mixed wheel sizes. Um, it does require switching out both the main rocker link and the lower shock mount, um, but that is something that you can do after you purchase the bike if you'd like to do so. So the Sight is kind of the bigger brother of the Optic that we just looked at. It shares the same suspension design. It has 150 millimeters of rear travel and 160 millimeters in the front. And since this bike is kind of a, you know, more brawly all mountain style bike, they put a either, you know, the new Vivid Air or some of the models have a coil on it to take those bigger impacts um, and aggressive rough trails um, while still specking a Lyric on the front to give it that kind of lively feel of a shorter travel all mountain style bike. If you want something full enduro, they still have the range. You can get that 180 Zeb up front if you'd like. So a year ago, I had the previous generation Norco Sight, and I loved that bike. It was very playful, very light. It was also very simple, which I enjoyed. Standard four bar suspension design. Um, this one is gonna be a little different than the previous generation. Um, one issue I had with the older bike was that it bottomed out pretty easily, whereas now with this high pivot linkage design, bikes with high pivots usually have more of that kind of bottomless suspension feel that a lot of people come to appreciate. Um, and this bike also, I will say, just is a little bit cleaner altogether. You know, the old bike had aluminum chainstay. This one has a carbon chainstay on all the carbon models. Um, it has pretty clean internal cable routing. One thing I will say that is a little unusual with these bikes is that it has a pretty long exposed cable from the down tube here to the top of the seat stay. Um, I'm not sure if Norco maybe will come out with some way to kind of get it fastened to the shock because right now I could see that rattling while you're riding and not being super and being a little loud so maybe throwing some mastic tape in the opening for that internal routing might help silence that um, but yeah all in all I think it's a great improvement upon the design they already had the previous bike was great this bike takes that same suspension travel amount and just tweaks it a little bit to make it more capable but also more efficient at the same time which is a win-win 
So one cool feature about these new bikes from Norco is they feature a proprietary chain guide chain, or bash guard on the bottom here. And one characteristic of a high pivot bike is, as you see when I rotate the cranks around here, you know, since the chain is coming from this upper pulley, it's not engaging nearly as many teeth as a normal chain ring would on a normal suspension design. And because of this, you know, having this lower bash guard here that actually has a shelf coming out, is gonna help retain, retain that chain. Um, whereas without it, it might be prone to falling off more. So it's just a cool thing that they did here. It looks really clean. Some companies, you have to run a lower pulley to make the high suspension layout work. The downside to that is you're just introducing another pulley, more drag into the system. So with this, you know, you have that extra security to make sure the chain stays on, but you're not introducing more drag into the system by introducing a fourth pulley down here. So one cool feature about both the Optic and the Sight is that it, they come with this lower bearing mount on the lower end of the shock eyelet. Now, a lot of bikes don't necessarily have this. They, you know, usually have a bearing around this upper rotating link that does a big kind of like a 90 degree turn around the rear shock. Um, but this lower pivot down here, when the suspension compresses, it does move the shock a little bit, but not a ton. So most companies just put a standard bushing down there. Um, so it's cool to see Norco putting that bearing there because what that does is basically while you're riding on the trail, that free movement there is just adding a little bit more suppleness to your ride because now the suspension design has literally no friction it's fighting whatsoever everything is rolling on bearings nice and smooth so it's cool to see that you know not many bike companies are going that extra step and it's cool to see Norco did that and it's definitely gonna improve the feel of their bikes so to conclude this video for 2024 Norco did a big change to their lineup you know two of their best-selling bikes the optic and the site they totally redesigned they went from standard four bar design to still that traditional four bar linkage but now with this high pivot I think at the end of the day they realized that this new design could allow the bike to be more capable in more scenarios and also maintain the great kind of climbing characteristics and lively feel of the previous generation bikes so we're really excited about these bikes at Jensen USA um, we think they're going to really be popular out in the market and people are going to be stoked on them. So if you're looking to get a new bike and you are looking for anything from 125 mils of rear travel to 150, mixed wheel size or 29 all the way, one of these new Norcos might be the perfect fit for your next ride. If you like this video and want to see more content from Jensen USA, check out our playlists and our videos below. Probably going to be floating around here somewhere. Give one of them a click and check out some great content.